but I, I really don't have time. I have to get to the office. I love you. Bye. Bye. Now, why are you worried about what I'm doing? What are you about yourself? I just need to ask you a question about this rites of passage thing. Uh, then I get to ask you a bar mitzvah question. Okay, cool. Uh, what's the point of the naming ceremony? Uh, well, see, black people lost their real names in slavery. So the naming ceremony kind of gives us a real name from our own culture. And uh, sometimes it's the day of the week you were born on. And sometimes it's just a name that stands for something that defines your personality. Um, what's the point of a bar mitzvah? <laughs> See, you've been hard at work. <laughs> well, everything I read says something different. I mean, I read everything from Jewish family celebrations to Judaism for dummies. Okay, well, it's simple. I guess it's kind of similar to your rites of passage thing. Uh, they don't celebrate it in the old country, but... It's a 13-year-old boy's introduction. Yes. Then what is all this? He's in love with me. And you find that hard to resist. <laughs> I'm in love with you. What? Especially now. You are hilarious. You? Look at you. Hi. I can't yeah, believe I'm you're so you. into this. It's like you want to jump into the TV. <laughs> I, I love old you. movies. I guess you do. I wind up with a lifelong annuity. <laughs> Go ahead, Turb. Thank you. No, wait, 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 wait. Everything, any deal you want. But we're finished. Oh, come on. That might look like a Here. I'm going to check on the baby. Hi. I need to talk to Eva, please. Um, uh, Eva? Yeah? Huh? What are you doing here? Is this your idea of needing time to yourself? It, did you follow me? Of course I followed you. You're not taking my phone calls, so what am I supposed to do? Hey, Eva. Uh, Dorothy, I'm sorry. Did you need to leave? I still have stuff in our apartment. Then go get it. You still have the key, or did you give that to your new girlfriend, too? Leave, Gigi. Leave! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. I know it hurts, but it's going to be okay. How in the hell can a car just disappear? I mean, Lynn, the gates are still locked. The windows haven't even been broken. Man, we'll get it back. There's not a lot of cars oh, that look please. like that on the road. It's, it's, it's on Michigan Street. What? 13250 Michigan Street. The 1965 Chevrolet Corvair with the real mounted engine and... and, and oh, and, oh and, okay. And, How do you know where the car is, Lionel? I drove it there. The locks are cheap like Kenny, and I watch you punching an alarm code. Mistake. He doesn't know where the car is. You can't even drive the car. I read his file, said he couldn't drive. This is not adding up and I'm calling the police. Hey, okay, look, Kenny, why don't, why don't we just check out Lionel's story, man? I mean, what can it hurt? Mm, this is good. Would you like your own fruit salad, Bird? Mm-mm, I'm fine. Terry. I really love the wedding planner you chose. She was my first choice. I'd probably still be putting off finding a wedding coordinator if I didn't get stuck in jury duty. You had jury duty? Mm. Yes, Eva, I did. Oh, I'm sorry. I just thought that you would be able to Look, get it. It was my civic duty, so I did it. End of story. Next subject? So was it like a big murder case? Did you hear me say next subject? I mean, can't you tell us anything about the outcome? Uh, did he do it? Yeah. I gotta go. I, I gotta get back to work. Mm. All right. I, I gotta get back to. Excuse oh, me, wait. waitress. Can we get our check, please? 
Your waitress, Lori, had to go, so she gave me your check. Are you guys all done here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. God, Terry! How are you? Fine. Yeah, I'm so sorry about that whole kicking you off the jury thing. It really sucks, right? Yeah, I got kicked off of the debate team one time because Bobby Calloway didn't like me, but my teacher, Ms. Marsh, said it was because of my lack of control. I cried for like a week until I ended up making the cheerleading team. No, just the check, please. Oh, sure. That's right. <laughs> Here, keep your money, Max. Thank you. Why would somebody tow the car here and leave? Well, who did this, Lionel? Who did this, Lionel? I, I did. I, I didn't. I, 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 I did this shit. No, you didn't, Lionel. You don't drive and the car doesn't run, man. No, no. I, I, I know I'm not supposed to drive, but, but I did. Oh, I, I fixed it. Hell. All right. I'm, I'm working on it that night. Fixing it. I took it for a test drive, but I saw the cops and ran because you're not supposed to drive, like. Well, how did you figure out how to fix it? Oh, it, it was easy. I, I replaced that hose so that thing right there could get more air, and, and, and I tightened all the screws so that... I'm sorry, boss. But when I was fixing it, 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 it sounded so scary, and it made a lot of noise, and... Sorry about yelling at you. Well, you should be. It, it, it took a long time for me to get that part to, to fit in there like it's supposed to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, hop on in. Tracy, what's your name, right? Can I help you with something? Yeah, you can quit helping yourself to my girlfriend. No, ex-girlfriend. You cheated, she threw you out, right? <laughs> what, what's the matter? Is straight life isn't all it's cracked up to be? You know what? You are way out of line, okay? I don't want your woman. I'm married. Yeah, I heard. You're married with a baby. Just stay away from Eva. You know, we could work things out if people like you stopped interfering. Goodbye, have a nice day. Yeah, you do the same. Hi, Bird Van Adams for Eva Holly, please. Just a moment. Hey, Tracy. Hi. Can you come out to the parking lot for a second? I'll be right there. How you doing? Good. Hey, Tracy. Tracy, you okay? Your girlfriend showed up at my shop today. What? Yeah, it's bad enough the psycho comes to my home, but, but now my place of business? Yeah, I'm sorry. Tiffany probably told her where you were. Yeah, well, you know what, Eva? I, I can't handle this, okay? I'm just barely getting over this shit with Michael King. I understand. You know, and, and, and I cannot have any more craziness. I understand. Do you? Because on top of what this is doing to me emotionally, it's starting to mess with my business, and I cannot have that. I can't have clients and co-workers thinking the wrong thing about me. What exactly is the wrong thing? Look, Eva, I'm not trying to insult you, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I guess I do. God forbid anyone think you're a lesbian. Please, don't take the moral high ground with me, okay? Because if Lem showed up here telling you to leave me alone and creating a scene, you wouldn't be too happy about it. You're right. I wouldn't. Look, Tracy, I'm sorry. I will handle this thing with Gigi, okay? I promise. Thank you. 
I mean, I'm the one who's always telling my stylist, leave your drama at home. Mm -hmm. And here I show up with a full helping of drama on my plate. <laughs> How do I look? It's not funny. I know. I'm sorry. And I wanted to sock that girl so bad. Oh, you him up. shut up. <laughs> she almost got it. I'll talk to you. All right. Oh, do you okay? That's for y'all. I'll put the top on there. Close that up, honey. Right, you, you get uh, $15 in the store. Okay, so, um... There you go, money. Hey, don't knock that down, huh? Oh, yes. Hey, what's up, Terry? What's up? Hey, what's up, Terry? Hey, hey, everybody. Hey, hey. Right. Oh, hey, hey. What's up, Lionel? Lionel, hi. Everybody's told me so much about you. I'm Terry. Um, it's it's good to finally yeah, meet man. you. What are you doing? I hear you're pretty amazing. Um, show me your titties, like at the Funky yeah. Box. Oh, Lord, help me! You took him to the Funk Box, Kitty? Oh no! Yeah, he no. had a great time, and the girls liked him. I mean, uh -uh, no, then that's the most irresponsible thing I've ever heard. No, it this really takes the cake. You took him to a strip club, Kenny, with I all don't the want nasty you going women. Anymore. We we just no, went to have it's a good just time. Irresponsible, plain and simple. What are you talking about? Why I gotta be irresponsible now? What? You know where I was last night? I was Syndrome? Yeah, but we didn't know something like this could happen. I guess we just don't know enough about it. Well, one of Asperger's characteristics is an acute interest in a single subject. Like cars. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Which doesn't leave much room for other common or age-appropriate interests. This episode was probably brought on by the family argument. Well, loud noises, unfamiliar environment, confusion, mm -hmm. violence, any number of things that are abnormal to him could have triggered it. Can we see him? Yeah. He's stabilized now. We put sutures in his hand, but it wasn't too serious. Hey. I'm, I'm sorry, boss. I, I didn't mean to hit little boss. He could hit me back as, as many times as he wants to. It, it's okay, yeah. Lionel. Ahmad is fine. He told me to tell you that he knows you didn't do it on purpose. It's all right. I got sick. That, that happens to me sometimes. I don't, I don't like fighting. Uh, hey, man. Now, we all get sick sometimes. But you just hurry up and get better so you can go back to work at Chadway Towing. You're not gonna fire me? Oh, fire you? Never. Well, you should trade in your Corvair for a 1973 Coupe de Ville with a drop top. Then you'll be a real boy. <laughs> yeah. 73 Coupe de Ville. Okay, okay. All right. I am a man. Those are the words that begin a traditional speech given by a young man during his bar mitzvah ceremony. Although bar mitzvah ceremonies may vary, they all contain an opening blessing by the boy's father in which he thanks God for removing the burden of being responsible for his son's sins. <laughs> 